Yes, you could depend on Murray's 20 list, but that's over now. <laughs> now we must find something else to depend on. Oh, oh yeah, self-indulgence. <laughs> find music, episode 381. I turn to the infamous music player for the fines don't stop. And it's just fun with uh, Wheel of Bands last time. I might do that again this time if everyone's willing to do that. I got to get my magnifying glass. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry this is too small. I don't know how to make this larger. I don't want to try. But, uh, okay. or I could go, you know, in a genre, but that just seems so wrong after. Okay. So it's going with a genre, you know? Let the genres be discovered indirectly. So I'm going to turn to Fred first, actually. And there's even another row at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Row at the bottom here. Ooh. We kind of traveled that row already. Already did Trilogy, already did Towers of Jupiter. Haven't done the windmill. And I yeah, let's on. hear the windmill. Windmill. Cosmic debris, I like it. Save it, save it. We're going to the windmill first. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, these came from two different sources. Hmm. They are prog rock. Why? Were they labeled contemporary pop and some other source? I don't know. <laughs> but I will take it a step farther and ask Fred to pick a title. This can be dangerous if you look at those links. About a day in the hero's life. The longest? Oh, the second longest. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to have to probably forward on this. Let me share the sound. A gentle beginning. I got no patience for this. I'm going in. Okay, we know on. Uh, by the way, windmills from Norway. Twenty first century band in the twenty ten. I think you get the idea. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, yeah, I see the wood nymphs dancing. <laughs> yeah. Is it are. all instrumental or are there vocals? Uh, this is all instrumental. Oh. Yeah. So, enjoy. Heading back to the list. I go in episode order to Jim. Ooh. You were Cosmic Debris. It looks like Cosmic a Debris. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Episode. That's what I was going to pick. Yeah. Yeah. We just talking well, about a... <laughs> You're not going to get what you're expecting because notice the spelling is proper. Yes, I know. I noticed that. Yeah. That's yeah. your first sign of disappointment. Well, uh, listed in a rock, see. but uh, they're not. In the not so not, still gentleness not. of the night. A little wordy, don't you think? <laughs> Let's try it. They're from Oklahoma. Oklahoma oh, City, to be precise. Wow. You got a title for me, sir? Yeah, in the not-so-still gentleness of the night. Kind of an oh, anti-tornado sounded... song. Sounded just like the <laughs> intro. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Multi-350D. This is... Well, that sounds like Cosmic Debris. 
in the not so still gentleness of the Yeah, night. I thought I accidentally started the recording because you were saying the title like it does in the song. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they go, what? what? I didn't press play. What? Yeah, so these guys are electronic, as you can surmise. I'm going to go ahead because it's not going anywhere yet. Oklahoma folk music. Sounds like a music band for the news right there. Film at 11. Lazarian. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> idea <laughs> nothing to do with zappa no no yeah but more yeah, emerson like a laser there. Music. all right the more... years, God. <laughs> what do you guess for 3.7k is that significance in a scientific way i don't know mm -hmm. three point what seven k three point seven k what's that okay mm. that's the name of the album well, and Jim took my first choice. I'm going to go with my second choice, which is High Pulp. Well, no, High Pulp. This is from Fred, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fred put this on Fine Music, and I like it. Oof, oof. So pick a title, and we'll just reaffirm. Okay. Um... Deep into the computer. Yes. And you will find. If you don't leave, the city will. <laughs> yeah, now that fits today's themes, let's see what it sounds like. Oh, yeah, it's good. The city is killing him. from Los Angeles. to get discordant that's nice to know yeah they're a pretty interesting group i like the, what yeah. they do with their their notes and everything the way it comes out yeah i, I forget how i discovered them maybe off a frog website or something or a jazz really website. Wow. i really like that album yeah, I like it too. So I bought it. Absolutely. It's uh, never boring. Okay. 
Uh, now I get to finish off. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to Baron. Here they are. Ooh, I have to take this phone call, so I'm going to sign off. Take it. You've been to Baron, so. <laughs> All right, so this is a group called Osiris. Oh. And. Uh, Megan, how you doing? Hang on, hang on one second here. You're in the call, though. One you got to take your volume off. Here. Oh, am I going to do this? I have to. There's a volume okay, thing on there somewhere. Your oh, how's still going? On, <laughs> Jim, Jim, else. your volume's still on. What's Maybe that? I can mute him. I want to try to mute him. Oh, good, good, good. There, I muted him. Woo. That was close. We almost learned too much about his secret operations. Okay. Osiris, uh, as I was saying, I started on 1982. And uh, this is the full player. But then after that, they made three EPs. And I don't like them nearly as much because they're trying too hard to be commercial. Hmm. They lost their original direction, like a lot of prog bands in the 80s. Yeah. And uh, luckily, though, when they reformed in 2007, they went back to the old sound, to that uh, non-commercial prog, you know, making the music the way they were making it because they were making it in a very good way. So I was very pleased to see Visions from the Past come out in 2007 and even better in 2010. This is a live album, but it's all new music. Mm. So that's extra cool. Really like that too. And if I have to pick a track here, I'm going to go with the strangest title I can find. Mm -hmm. Hmm, Sailor on the Seas of Fate, I guess. Let's see what that is. Almost 12 minutes. I might have to scooch in a little. Wait, wait. I think I hear the Seas of Fate. Be like Jim or Johnny, so it turns into a beat, right? <laughs> but no, we went ahead. So this is all on. Bit of that little flavor. great band to get lost in the sauce with and uh interestingly enough if you look at the links of the songs some of them are quite short right those are spoken word passages actually the ones okay. that are like a minute long so it's a little bit moody blues in that way but in a middle eastern way so really enjoyed that find being the experiment is over thank you for your participation <laughs> Fine music. Oh, Jim, I muted you. Let me bring you back. Yeah. You're... There we go. There you go. I hope I didn't mess up your session. I It was a phone call that I had. No, to no, take, I muted so... you. Oh, so, good, good, cool. Yeah, yeah, because it was good. starting to be personal there. You were talking yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and... like a, I'm starting a new <laughs> uh, line of work here. Woo, reach for that button. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right, I was just trying to conclude here, right? Right, yeah. yeah. So, uh, 
these will be up on YouTube. You're watching this. It's up on YouTube. But we've got the group on Facebook. On music on Facebook, and that's where our discoveries get placed quite often. And you can do the same with your discoveries. We're looking for interesting discoveries. There's people I'm always trying to recruit to join us. And uh, one of the latest ones is this guy named Tony. He says, "Kind of busy now, but I'd like to try it in the future." Okay. His last name Busca, is Rites. Tony Wright, R E I T Z, I think it is. And he's got some interesting musical tastes. So I'm going to uh, find this eventually in the future. Cool. But for now, thanks for being here. Hope to see you next week. Take care.